Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a wonderful day, and I am back. So, uh, yeah, we're checking out the weekly shop here, and man, there's been some major changes to the shop over the weeks. Um, I left at the right time, otherwise I would have exploded. Um, but anyways, <laughs> now that I had like a mental reset, uh, because Halo Infinite just being a terrible game, and it's just in a terrible state. There's just no doubt about that. Anyways... If we look at the shop here, the first set we got is the Lead Belcher Armor Set. So this is going for 1,700 credits. Now, I thought we were over this. Uh, this is clearly overpriced. And so what you get out of this bundle is the helmet, um, an attachment that has like a little light on it. You get a armor coating that's called Hazard Zone. Just a bunch of yellow and black. And you get this little two knives on your freaking leg or whatever shoulder pads and then you get or not shoulder pads why do i keep saying that knee pads <laughs> and then you get the shoulder pads which you know they're pretty cool um it also has knives which is pretty funny um and then you also get this chest piece which has like a little armor little like reinforced armor and like some extra magazines or something i don't know um, so you also get a visor, which is literally just a yellow visor. And of course, you get bundles, or not bundles, freaking emblems, which is like some kind of dog, I don't know. Uh, and yeah, you just get it for for like all your stuff. And that's it. That's all this bundle has. And it's going for 1700 I don't understand what 343 is trying to do here. I thought we were past this. You know, so much stuff was overpriced at launch. Uh, for quite a while and then eventually they started lowering it and now we're just back to square one why the hell does this cost a thousand seven hundred credits like that's just insane and honestly i'm not even gonna buy anything in this shop i don't plan to buy anything at all at this point because i just don't want to support this kind of system anyways moving on to the next bundle which is what you're here for we got point bombardment and so this one is just kind of funny looking um, it's basically just green. You get the coating for your, for the uh, fracture core. Then you get the coating for your warthog, the razorback, the rocket hog, um, the wasp, the scorpion. I'm pretty sure you get it for every single vehicle, other than the mongoose. It seems like so you get it for the gun goose, and it doesn't seem like you get it for the. Uh, yeah, you don't get it for the mongoose, it seems like. Oh, no, you do. So you get it for every vehicle. Okay, I'm just an idiot. But, uh, yeah, you get it for every vehicle. Uh, and you also get some emblems, of course, which it looks all right. It's just like a eagle. An eagle? Is that like an eagle or something? Or like a falcon? I don't know. It's some kind of bird. Um, and, yeah, you just get it for everything. You know, armor emblem, nameplate, etc. But, like, dude, what is this coding? Like... I'm not even going to lie. Is it like some kind of like joke coding or something? I, I don't understand it. It looks untextured is what it looks like. It looks like just some green with like, okay, we don't know what else to put on there. Let's just leave it untextured and we'll leave that as a coding. <laughs> it looks like they just slapped it together. Uh, definitely not a fan of that one. Although I, I will say the pricing for this one is a bit more fair. 700 credits for all this is pretty solid. Uh, that's basically a dollar for each coding, so... Um, I think that's pretty fair. Now let's move on to the next bundle. The kill effect. Eagle Claw. Dude, what the hell is this? Like, I, this is sick. Like, I like this. Um, I really like this kill effect. But 700 credits just for one kill effect is absolutely insane. I remember the last, uh, effect I bought was the, uh, what was it called? I forgot what it was called, but it was like, a. It was like one of those effects that like gives you like the little trail and stuff when you like crouch or not crouch when you slide and stuff. Uh, it, it was like that oil one, whatever, and it's basically kind of like this one, except that was for like your own personal Spartan. And so that one costed 300 credits, and that one was overpriced as well in my opinion. But at least that one was somewhat more fair. And now we come to this one, which costs 700 credits, is absolutely insane. And I actually considered buying this i was like "Ooh, i definitely do want this but then i saw the price tag and i was like what the hell dude i am not buying that 
as much as I like it, I am not freaking buying that. Like, that's insane. Um, but yeah, that's what you get. Eagle Claw is just a kill effect for 700 credits. Definitely overpriced. Like, I don't know what they're doing here, man. I really don't. And I'm just, like, so beyond it. But uh, moving on to the next bundle here, we got Mechanized Assault. And this is one of those emblem bundles uh, that comes with a charm. So you get a little nice charm. Um, and these are the ones that are usually typically fair most of the, most of the uh, time. And yeah, so you get this Wild Hogs nameplate. You get it for your vehicle, nameplate, uh, weapon, etc. And you also got the Shadow Scorpion um, for everything as well. And that's about it. That one's fair, you know, 200 credits. Not bad for a bunch of emblems and a charm. That one's pretty fair. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's this week's shop. A huge disappointment. Um, wow, man. I, I don't know where they're heading with this. Like, I'm, I have a feeling next week's shop is going to be 2,000 credits for the next bundle. Or, like, the next, uh, huge armor set or whatever. Um, and that's just completely insane. We're just back to square one, and it seems as if, like, 343 just doesn't listen. I don't know what else to say. And I'm just, like, I'm just disappointed. I'm really just disappointed. We got a good ultimate, right? So the ultimate for this week is a vehicle coating. And the challenge is called staking a claim. And you get the blue wood bowl or bowel. I don't know what the hell it's called, how to pronounce that. We'll just call it bowl, whatever. Anyways, this is actually a pretty cool coating. Um, it's for the Warhog, which the Warhog is a pretty uh, popular vehicle. It's pretty much on every map. So this is pretty good um for the weekly ultimate i think it's all right i i don't know i mean i i like it but it's like eh, i don't know man I, is it something i'd grind for i don't really use the warhog i feel like the warhog is the most used vehicle though right i mean it spawns on every map i don't know i'm kind of torn between it i think it's average to like good um not the worst that's for sure but uh yeah it's just a warhog coating of course, you gotta have some gold on it, because 343 loves their gold, I don't know why. And it has some blue and red, not too bad, I guess, for a weekly. That's gonna sum up the uh, weekly shop and ultimate reward. Let me know what you guys think. Personally, my goodness, man, this is a whole. This is the whole reason why I like just stopped making Halo videos in general, because every time I log on to this game, I just get, like, I'm greeted with, like, the most disappointing stuff and just, like, I just don't know what's going on over there. Like, like it generally just, I'm. It generally pisses me off. Like, I'm salty because like, the way they're handling this franchise is just, just blows me away. It really does, and it's just like, why, man? Like, why? like I, I, I just don't get him. I don't know, but, you know, I'm not gonna stay here and rant. So, uh, that being said, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.